going on guys it is fatal reader day bringing you guys a video it is 2022 after all and i figured i why not be sure to hit the like and subscribe button as always so why not do a test or not a, really a test but a more of a showcase of why the hp pavilion is still worth it in 2022 that is the question is it still worth it i'm gonna give you the short answer yes go ahead and click off the video that's the video see you guys later just joking. So let's get into the real aspects of why this laptop, this gaming laptop, is still worth it in 2022. And I just showed you guys the box that it came out of. That is the original box that it came out of. Still have it. And why I really want to press on the importance of that. This is my main PC setup too, to, to the side of it. Just showing you guys a little, you know, how the new setup is going on and how I have it beside me with a little uh, cooling pad as well. So let's really get into the aspects of it. The first video you're going to be seeing here is a Dying Light 2 test. Dying Light 2 just came out this year. We've still got the laptop being able to play games that are brand new and very, very high demanding in graphics, and this laptop can still handle them. So, as you can see here in Dying Light 2, it is still playing it. This is a short t uh, test of it. Um, I have fuller videos on my channel if you guys want to see the full videos of these and more in-depth description for those videos. That being said, um, you know, this laptop is just, I've done nothing to it. I want to let that really be known. I've done nothing to the laptop besides upgrade the RAM. So it went from 8, had 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is standard, and it went to 16 gigs. So I've done nothing for the laptop at all besides the upgrade for RAM. That's literally all I've done, and it just came straight, this is just straight factory out of the box. like. I really think that's really important to say because, you know, a lot of people do a lot of difference, you know, they change the SSD in it, upgrade the RAM, maybe this, this, that, you know, just different things. And it's been a year and six months since I've owned this laptop and I've not done anything besides change the RAM. That's literally it. That being said, it still plays these games tremendously. Now, this is low quality settings you're seeing. Again, for more in depth, you can go check out the videos on my channel, um, you know, they're, and I'll put them in the description below as well. This next video you're going to see here in a few more minutes is Warzone. Now, it's good to know that Warzone, while I was this test that you're seeing, the video you're going to be seeing, is actually me streaming it. So not only can it play Warzone and run about 50 to 60 on about medium settings, this is on low settings on Dying Light 2, it can also stream as well and still hold up. The last video you're going to see in this uh, video of the HP Pavilion, you know, showing you uh, another game it can play is God of War. So these are just really really high demanding titles as far as video games go and this laptop is still being able to play them that's why i really want to do an important video like this i did one last year in 2021 you guys loved it i got a lot of views a lot of good um, comments and stuff like that so if you guys have any questions do let me some comments down below that being said you know is it worth it in 2022 100 percent yes i mean this game but this gaming laptop still plays better than the consoles i've had so like i had an xbox one s and it couldn't even barely play fortnite and this laptop has no issues playing Fortnite and streaming it. So if you're looking for a good starter or even intermediate, I would say, I would place in the intermediate stage. If you're looking for a good starter slash intermediate PC or laptop, if you can't afford the PC, PC prices are ridiculous right now. You know, I mean, this laptop still holds up with certain, you know, certain games that with like that my main PC can play. I mean, it plays it just as well and has no issues with hours and hours of gaming. And yes, I've tested hours and hours on Dying Light 2. I've put at least two to three hours in Dying Light 2 and had it just sit there on idle and I never had a crash or anything like that. So it's still held up fine. That being said, guys, um, you know, more, more to the point, you know, it is still 100% worth it. Like, I would definitely, like, if I didn't have it already and I was needing a gaming laptop... I would definitely sink my money into something like this. Don't get me wrong, you can run into issues. I've had people saying they've ran into issues with the game running or the laptop running too hot. They had to get a fix or this, 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 that. You know, certain things are going to come into play. Not every laptop's different. You get just like every PC you build is different. Everybody's going to come into certain different problems. That being said, though, as far as a laptop goes and a gaming laptop at that, 100% no issues with this laptop from my from my end. I've had none whatsoever. I've had a few crashes here and there, but I've had main, I've had crashes on my main PC and the only crash I ever had actually on the laptop was on Fortnite, surprisingly. Wasn't uh wasn't Warzone, never had a crash on Warzone, nor Dying Light 2 yet. The only crash I've had so far is on Fortnite. And I do play this laptop pretty pretty, you know, pretty excessively pretty often, especially for doing videos like this uh for you guys. And like I said, you know, there's just nothing more to say than it. it's, it's been an insane laptop. And in 2022 here, it is still 100% worth it. So if you're looking to get it, by all means, get you one. 
I do highly recommend them. Uh, get you maybe an external monitor. You can get the cooling pad with it. I mean, you can have a good setup with this laptop, especially for something, you know, that's a lot less. You know, they're they're running from about seven to eight hundred dollars now, and that's that's a pretty good price considering PC prices right now are outrageous. You pay seven hundred dollars just for a graf good graphics card. My my uh, RTX twenty seventy Super, my main PC right now, is literally eight hundred dollars if you want one now, seven to eight hundred if you want a brand new one. So that being said, guys, I mean, it just it just is phenomenal. The laptop is still, you know, being able to play all these games. I have more and more, plenty of more titles coming for you guys. And here's, of course, the HP Pavilion streaming. This was a stream. This is the video I took off Twitch, downloaded it, obviously, on my stream. I do stream, too, as well, if you guys want to check that out. Um, Fatal Reaper YT is my uh, Twitch name. I do stream the laptop every now and then, and I do my main PC Obviously, I do some streams of Rocket League, Warzone, you know, you well, Warzone's been crashing lately, but War, or Rocket League, some Fortnite, you know, everything in between, anything that I, you know, play and people want to see. That being said, you know, I've been, the laptop is still just having no issues. I've still been able to play it great. Um, I've had, I've ran into issues, no issues, thankfully, myself. It's been running still great, plays all these games, perfectly great. I mean, there's just not much to say more than it's just been really good. I've, I've not had, I've literally had no issues. Like, you know, when I got the Xbox One S, I just think back to that. I had nothing but issues. Crashed, wouldn't play, would barely turn on, wouldn't even play Fortnite. And this laptop, a laptop, and I was skeptical at first because I'm like, this is a laptop. You know, any laptop I've ever had has been garbage. And this one is just still kicking butt. I mean, I've literally never had any issues out of it so far. You know, not saying people don't. Everything gets issues from time to time. That being said, though, guys, I hope you enjoy this rest of this video. I'm going to let it play through. You guys can enjoy the content. Go see the full videos if you want to see them. Leave me some questions down in the comments below if you guys have any. Pretty sure I've covered everything about it, like I'm saying. So if you're if you're still looking into it and wanting to get it, or you new viewers or guys that even have the laptop and just seeing it again, I mean, this laptop is still 100% worth it. And if you do have the laptop, you've still got a great I would safely say this thing would probably be good for another two to three years before it starts getting on the down low and you're going to have to just upgrade. Other than that, I mean, you know, not much more to say besides it being just a great laptop at that. Great, uh, great gaming laptop if you guys are looking for one intermediate to uh, beginning stage. And there's other great laptops out there too, but this is just one of the many. Uh, this is definitely, I would say, on the top five list if you're looking for some. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Again, leave me some comments down below if you guys have any questions. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.